Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October general messages. I've already laid out your cards to save some time. Um, we will be using all the Halloween decks that I have, well some. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I feel like this month for you, Scorpio, there's it's kind of like you're coming out of the closet or coming out of, you know, hiding who you truly are and what you truly love. It's time for it to come out. You can no longer hold it inside. This is your passion. This is something that represents you, your love, okay? And you're not going to give a fuck who who gives it, who has a problem with it. Uh, we have the hangman here, and it's reversed, okay? So whatever that has been delayed or stagnant is now ready to come out, come forward, ready to be, uh, how do I say it, exposed. So I feel like you are ready to be exposed. Whether this is a project, a lover, telling somebody that you care for them, you love them, how you truly feel, telling people that you, you, you're this or you're that, or you're going to be doing this or you're going to be doing that, and you're constantly having to defend yourself and, and defend your beliefs. So this month you're going to be defending what you believe in, and you're not going to give a fuck who knows. The reason why I say that is because we have the Seven of Bats, okay, which is the Seven of Swords, okay? This is really trying to... I feel like before you were trying to get away with, you know, lying to yourself and trying to be sneaky about it and not let anybody know, but I feel like you can no longer do that anymore. It's time for you to just walk in your true authentic path. So it's like whatever's been in the dark is now coming to light, but in a way where you are feeling good about it. Uh, this is the Knight of Bats, which is the Knight of Swords, okay? This is you coming forward communicating, uh, telling people what you want, who you are, who you love. This could be you coming towards a lover or this could be um, telling the world what you're going to be doing or a specific person or just being true and honest to yourself, like going after what you want and what you truly believe in. So um, with the Four of Ghosts reversed, which is the Four of Cups reversed, I felt like at one point you were unhappy and discontent with your life. You weren't satisfied with things being offered to you and you weren't you you didn't want to see it because it wasn't true to your nature. So now with it being reversed, it's kind of like you are now accepting that you are a certain thing or you are who you are and you have to love yourself, right? And everybody else will love you for it. So with that, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups was clarified with the fucking Ace of Cups. <laughs> it came out twice and they both came out in the upright. So this is an offer being to, or this is you, okay? Feeling emotionally fulfilled and happy. Uh, very, very happy. Okay, very fucking happy with the exposure, the coming out that you're going to be doing. This could also be you uh, representing or telling someone how you really feel, telling them that you love them and that you really, really love them and that you see a future together and you don't care who knows. Like if people know about this person, they're like, they weren't good for you. You're constantly having to be sneaky or having to defend how you feel about that person. But that's all coming out. Everything's going to Everything's just going to come out and it's going to make you feel good because it represents you and who you are. So we have justice, you see. You're going to be feeling more balanced. This is truth and clarity. People are going to be like, oh, well, that makes sense. Well, good for you, okay? And for, and for those who have a problem with it, you can just tell them to fuck off. Like, seriously, tell them to fuck off. We have the Ten of Swords here reversed this is you dropping the burdens not giving a fuck not worried or stressed about anything this is you know when you hit the ten of swords in the upright you're you're rock bottom when it's reversed there's only one way to go and that's up so with you coming out or whatever being true and honest getting justice you are going to be rising you're it's like a rising star and the while i say that the star is right here because this is also a card that we pulled out this is you feeling hopeful. This is something coming to illumination for you or for somebody else. Or maybe this could be somebody representing their love to you and you're feeling hopeful and you're going to be like, yes, finally, truth and clarity. And it's going to bring you emotion. Or this can go vice versa. Okay. 
Uh, we do have the Page of Cups. So this is like little talks, little offers, little emotions. It's kind of like the little things in life make you happy. This could also represent somebody who's a single parent who has a who has a son or someone that maybe you told, maybe somebody has a son by somebody and you didn't want them to know and now you're coming out and you're feeling good about it. That could be one scenario, okay? <laughs> hey, you never know. Um, I do have, we do have the lovers here right next to the star card. So this represents someone that you wish to have, someone that you always wish to be with. And that could be a decision that's going to be made that you're finally going to be with this person and you're finally going to get some truth and clarity with the justice and more balanced. Someone's going to be more balanced to, to come forward and communicate, especially with the Knight of Bats that's coming forward to communicate and making things clear about how they feel with the Ace of Cups, right? Um, we do have the world reversed. So I feel like there's some unfinished business that you need to take care of. Something that's not done or completed yet. And the reason why I say that is because it could be a project or something that you love. Or it could be anything that's not completed. There's unfinished business. You need some. You need truth and clarity about something. And that's exactly what's going to happen this month. And you're going to succeed. The reason why I say that is because we have these six of imps. This is the Six of Wands. This is coming forward, being recognized for your hard work, your talents, your achievements. This is being triumphant, okay? So that's great. I love it. It's looking great for you. You're finally coming out, truth and clarity. You're going to be so happy, especially with the Ace of Cups. So congratulations. Um, the oracle that we pulled for you from the Halloween oracle was the Night Song. Hidden talents. Ooh, hidden talents. What's done in the dark or what you loved in the dark is coming to light with the star card. Something's going to be illuminated. See, with the seven of bats, that's sneaky. Something being done in the dark. Now it's coming to light in a way where you didn't want anybody to know that you were into these type of things or person or whatever. This is what it represents, okay? The night song here. I'm going to read to you a little bit of what it means. It says, Should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you by appearing during your divination, know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within you remained unopened. The time has come to step into your true potential and claim all possibilities for yourself. <gasps> you see, stepping into your true self. Oh my God, this makes total, total sense. There is no more time to waste. No more excuses. See, I told you, you can no longer hold it in. It's time to come out. It's time to be true to yourself and people will love you for it. They're going to be like, what took you so long for this unveiling to occur? You're going to feel so much more happier. Like I said, with the hangman reverse, whatever that's been stuck or stagnant is now ready to come move forward. Okay. So there you go, Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in your next video.